up, dude? Kyoto, huh? <laughs> Talk about boring. You don't like it? Personally, I think it's one of the most beautiful places in the world. Whatever. We're finally here. Whoa, nice place. It is an expensive area, after all. Hey, what's that umbrella for? I see. So that's the style here in Kyoto, huh? So, which way to the geishas? That's right, I forgot about that. Count me in. Keep dreaming, Junpei. The stone area outside is filled with water. Is this one of the open-air hot springs I have heard about? No, it's just a courtyard. It's not meant for bathing. So, where were you guys gonna go at your old school, Ryoji? Somewhere interesting, I bet. Kyoto's so typical, don't you think? Hmm. I don't really remember. Are you serious? That's the highlight of the year! Come on, you can talk later. You're blocking the hallway. Girls, your rooms are that way. Why don't you go get unpacked? You heard her. We'll see you later then. Hey, knock it off, Junpei. Back over there. I guess get with the program.
We should probably head back. We don't want to miss curfew. The later it gets, the more crowded the Shijo becomes. Why are you still concerned about me? Our days of fighting together are over. We have no common goal to fight for, no enemies to defeat, no reason to be friends. That's not true. We've reached our conclusion. Why should we continue on? Everything I believed in was a lie. And in the end, I failed to... You failed to what? To protect the most important person in your life? Is that what you're trying to say? You said you were atoning for what the Kirijo group did in the past, but that's not true. You were only fighting to protect your father. That's right. I fought to protect him and look what happened. My trust for the chairman blinded me and I fell right into his trap. There was nothing I could do. My father placed the onus of responsibility all upon himself. And ever since the incident, he looked as if he was dead inside. I fought so that he could release the shame and guilt that burdened him so. But my efforts were futile, and now my life is without meaning. Right? I'm sorry, but we don't know that for sure yet. Hey, did you know that I used to live around here? After my dad died, my mom spent all her time throwing herself at random men. I couldn't stand to see her acting like that, so I used to come out here to the riverbank to get away. My belief in my dad was all I had. Your father was only doing what he thought was best. Yes, but it was still wrong. So he fought to the end to try and make it right again. He never gave up. He believed shadows were dangerous and they needed to be stopped. Even if it meant losing his life. That's why I fight. I want to eliminate the Dark Hour and fulfill my dad's final wish. Fulfill his final wish. That's all I... No. We can do. Right, Senpai? Yes. Yes, I agree, Takeba. It's not over yet. Nothing has been decided. We must put an end to this. For the sake of my father. And yours. Senpai. Yukari, will you stand with me until the end? Well, I guess we should go and take a bath together now. To take a bath together? Yeah, in the outdoor hot spring deck at the hotel. It's really nice. Now that we have everything out in the open, there's nothing left for us to hide. Uh, nothing? <laughs> hey, stop blushing. I didn't mean it like that. Anyways, we should really get going. It's already past curfew. There's no need to worry, Father. I am not alone, and I'll never look back again. Please watch over me.
you know that this hot spring is open to guys at certain times and girls at others? No way, really? Then there's a chance it could change to girls only while we're still bathing. But if that happens, there's nothing we can do about it. I mean, we're already here, right? That's true. We couldn't be blamed if something like that were to happen. Don't you agree? Well, it's really just a hypothetical question. Hey, isn't it getting kind of hot in here? So, Junpei, at what time does this hot spring change from guys only to girls only? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I didn't bother to check. Right, Ryoji-kun? Right, but it could happen at any moment, couldn't it, Junpei-kun? So that's why we came at this strange time? Oh, you two are such idiots. <laughs> Calm down, man. We're just joking. Although you're right about it being a weird time to be here. But don't worry. It's pretty late. I doubt any girls would... Shit! Someone's here. What are we gonna do? It's probably just a guy. Don't worry. This is simply a misunderstanding. We'll just act like we didn't know. Wow! This hot spring is huge! Oh, you're right. It's the size of a swimming pool. So, this is an outdoor hot spring. Unfortunately, its therapeutic healing benefits will not help me. Damn it, it's them! What are they doing here this late? Yes! Both Yukari-san and Fuka-san. This is my lucky... Shut up, you idiot! You! you. Uh, who's that? Is someone there? What's the matter, Yukari? Did you hear something? <clears throat> Mitsuru's here too? Ah, oh, man. There's no way she'll consider this just a misunderstanding. Yeah, but it's not like we could get expelled for this, right? I mean, it, it was men only when we got here. So it's actually kind of funny, if you think about it. This is Mitsuru we're talking about. If she finds us, she'll... What? She'll what? She'll execute us. E execute us? Yeah, I think I heard something. Fuka, could you check over there? It could be a ghost. Um, but I, uh, okay.
there's nothing there. Sorry, it must have been my imagination. Doesn't the water seem a little hot? I'm beginning to feel faint. <laughs> it appears that Yamagishi's ability is ineffective when she's without clothing. Well, well of course it is. To be honest, I am rather surprised by the difference between human bodies. More specifically... Okay, that's enough, I guess. Let's go. I'll treat you to some ice cream. Ice cream would be quite useful. I require some cooling down. Okay, they're gone. Phew, that was close. We never would have survived Mitsuru's execution. Huh? Looks like they passed out. Well, I guess that's what they deserve. Everyone remembers what time we're meeting at Kyoto Station, yes? Then please, be on time. If any of you are late, I'm the one who will be blamed. I thought Kyoto was gonna blow, but it really wasn't that bad. I guess it's mostly because of last night. You know, in the hot spring? No! Now keep your voice down! Huh? What's going on, guys? Uh, um, we're just having a, um, reflection meeting. Oh, yeah? What are you reflecting on? Huh? Uh, oh, uh, nothing. Okay... <laughs> Whatever. This is our secret. You guys better take it to the grave. Hello?
Hi, how was your day? drawing. What the? It has been a while. That voice. I'm glad to see you once again. Jin, the instruments, if you would. I trust you do not need to be restrained. Takaya. Surely you understand. There is nowhere for you to go. You must come with us. Death is not to be feared. You need only fear. Yes, I know. Excellent. It's all his fault. Since the day I met him, I've experienced nothing but pain. And I've become afraid of dying. Hey, hurry up, Chidori!
going on? Yamagishi sent something. Other Persona users. They're outside Tartarus. Other Persona users? Don't tell me it's... Strega, they're still alive. First the Dark Hour won't go away, and now Strega is back? What's happening? How many are there, Yamagishi? There's, There's only, only one, one, but... I thought she was in the hospital. No, she's... she's inside! Ah! What's wrong? Long time no see. Chidori? She's speaking through Yamagishi. I can't stand the sight of you all anymore. So I've decided to do something about it. Come to me. What the heck? I thought she was... Junpei, do you know what's going on? Junpei! No, damn it! I, I have no idea! Just leave me the hell alone! J Junpei? Junpei, wait! This is most likely a trap, but we're dealing with Strega, so we must pursue this. And if we confront them, we may gain some insight into our current situation. Please, Please be careful! Be careful. I only, I only sensed one, one person, person, but the, but the other, other two, two may be nearby. We'll have no idea what they're planning, so choose your allies wisely. We'll go after Iori once you've made your decision. doing this it doesn't make any sense I mean I know I'm not that smart and I've done a lot of stupid stuff but we shouldn't be fighting like this Junpei Kun look out Wow Chidori why get back Junpei it's useless trying to reason with her. No! It's too dangerous! I know how you feel, Junpei-kun, but please, just back up! I don't belong here. I've always known that. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. was right. You're a nuisance. It doesn't seem like darkness will work. I command thee! Too 
This pain is insignificant. The suffering my heart bears is far greater. Target lost! Descent now! Why? Why won't you leave me alone? I just don't get it, Junpei. Come forth! Please, tell me why you're doing this. What I fear most isn't death. What I fear most is... Attachment. Once I become attached to something, I fear that I will lose it. That's why we only live for the moment. But you... You brought me pain. Pain that I didn't want. Pain that I never asked for. When I'm with you, Junpei, I fear everything. I fear loss. I fear death. I fear that my time with you will end. That's why I... Chidori? I'm sensing... What? What is it? So then... There you are, you sons of bitches! <sighs> Chidori... I see that it is too late. You've been poisoned by them. What the hell does that mean, you friggin' ghost?! <laughs> I am no ghost. Fate permitted me to live, even though I wasn't attached to life. You might say I was... chosen. You bastard! I've made up my mind. I won't let you do this to her anymore! I'll protect Chidori with my life! Chidori! Don't stay with them! Come with me! <laughs> Look out, Junpei! Junpei. No! <sighs> I'm so happy you're awake. Chidori? Huh? I... I thought I was... I... I was wrong. I was scared and I blamed you for my heartache. I never felt that way before I met you, Junpei. And for the first time in my life, I... I realized what I wanted. And what is that? I... I want to be with you, Junpei. Forever. I... I am... Um, I want to be with you, too. 
but it could never last. I'm different from you. Since the moment I gained my power, I've known the day I was going to die. What? Knowing that scared me, because I had never really thought about dying. And it made me realize that I wouldn't be with you anymore. Chidori. That's why this is how it should be. You can't die here, Junpei. Die? Uh huh? of mine. Her persona doesn't sense life. It emits life. But in order to revive a person, she must... Chidori! I can hear the life pulsing through you. <laughs> I will live inside you, and we'll be together, forever. What are you saying? Chidori? Chidori? I'll protect you, Junpei. Always. I I'll protect you too! Please! Don't go! to be with you. Chidori! Thank you, Junpei. I love you. <laughs> this can't be happening. Chidori! Chidori, answer me! Chidori! Ah! Oh, what a pity. Such a meaningless death. Meaningless? Hmm? Quite a spectacle. Now, allow me to reciprocate. Takaya, don't! What? What is the meaning of this? Release me! To forget about your mission! This is just a waste of energy! I have something much greater to accomplish. And since you have no means of destroying the Dark Hour, I will let you be for now. But know that the day I shall finish this is soon approaching. Wait! 
Please! Stop! Let go! I... She entrusted you with this life. Don't waste it. <laughs> Chidori! Chidori, I... I... This is so hard, but it's not just my life anymore. Junpei.